Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're picking up where we left off, just north of Calgary, and we're heading up towards Edmonton. As we started heading north, we quickly found out that the road between Calgary and Edmonton is very rough, very busy, and very straight. It was definitely not my favorite part of the trip. We decided to stop in Red Deer for a splash of fuel and to dump our grain black tanks and get some more fresh water on board. So unfortunately our camera died just as we were getting into Edmonton, but we ended up staying there for a couple days to get into the international dealer to get a tie rod end replaced, and end up replacing the whole tie rod on the front steering axle. We left Edmonton right at rush hour, and this was probably the only rush hour traffic we had to deal with in Canada, but the road between Grand Prairie and Edmonton is pretty busy, and it took a long time for the traffic to thin out. So this stretch road was the first somewhat fun part of the drive. It actually reminded both Emily and I of driving through northern Minnesota with just small fields on the sides of the road surrounded by pine trees. It may not look like it, but it was starting to get pretty late in the day, around 9 or 10 o'clock our time, so we decided to find a pull-off to stay for the night. As soon as we left the pull-off, we started having some issues. Whenever I let off the throttle pedal, the bus would try to downshift down to fourth gear, even if it was going way too fast for it. 
Uh, so I had to drive with my foot on the accelerator the whole time, even if we're going downhill. Felt like we're in the movie where the bus can't go too slow, otherwise it blows up. So it was an interesting drive, and luckily we're heading to Grand Prairie to a mechanic to get it looked at anyway. So by this point I was getting pretty good at keeping the throttle pedal depressed as it was going down hills, but we're coming up to our first major uh, downgrade. It was an 8% downgrade into a river valley, and it was quite a challenge because we actually had to stop at the bottom and turn left and go to our campsite for the night. So as we started going down this gravel road to the campsite, we actually had our biggest problem of the trip. Our Jeep bumper came partially detached and started dragging the Jeep at an odd angle behind us. Luckily we were going about 5 mile an hour when it happened and we were able to quickly pull off to the side, get the Jeep unhooked, and get to our campsite to do some repairs. <laughs> 